Hello, we are here at Technische Universität Berlin and I'm standing in the laboratory of the Chair of System Dynamics and Friction Physics and today we want to make an experiment which is about adhesion. And we're talking about something that you might as well know from your daily life. I have here some medical plasters as you can usually buy them at the grocery store. And what you usually do when you want to use them is to cut off a piece like this, just the size you need. And that's how you glue them to your skin. Now what if, instead of keeping the shape like this, I cut off the corners here and give the whole thing a round shape. Now even though it is smaller, from my experience this side will hold a lot better than this one with the sharp corners. Now what is the reason for this behavior? Now we can even take this a step further. Watch here, I have um, a few samples that I have cut out of, of just ordinary adhesive tape, which have a triangular form and a round form and a star shape, which I have here. And as little experiments, I want to stick these to my skin and watch which one will hold best throughout the day. Now we can already see here on my star shaped sticker once I start to move my skin, it's these, it's these rays that start to come off first. Whilst here on my other arm, on the round shape, even if, I, even if I move it back and forth, it sticks very well. And here on the triangle, you can also see the corners coming off first. Now we know adhesion can make two things stick together. How much they actually stick together depends on a lot of things, for instance, the materials that are involved. From nature we know a lot of examples where adhesion comes into play. For instance, a fly can walk on a wall and on a ceiling. And we are used to the fact that insects can do so, and after all they are small and light. But another example is the gecko, which is relatively heavy and big, but still can walk on the wall and on the ceiling. Uh, the secret of the gecko is in his feet, where there is a huge number of very small structures which, when combined, can give this strong effect of him being able to walk on the wand on the ceiling. And for this reason, the research and the scientific interest and all the investigations in the past have focused on these very small structures when it comes to adhesion and uh, to find out how these small structures uh, influence adhesion. In our lab, we asked ourselves the different question, what if we go to the, to the other end of the spectrum and look at large structures and large shapes and see how these influence the ability of two bodies to stick together. And in order to do this, we designed an experiment where at the first step we would need something that is soft and can stick to another surface. As a soft body, we are using gelatin, which is the main ingredient of jelly, as you see, which is shaky and, and sticky. And our second, second body are these probes, which are made of acrylic glass. And we have laser cut this shape so that only the middle part stands out and will be brought into contact. So our acrylic glass is slowly brought into contact with the flat gelatine, like this, and then slowly pulled off. Now I can't really do it slowly here, but we can do it in the machine. Our experimental setup consists of two parts. The slower part is fixed and contains the gelatine probe. On the upper part, we have a linear stage, which can move up and down, and which holds here the flat acrylic glass probe. Now, when I lower this part onto the gelatine, the acrylic glass will touch the surface here, and a contact will form. We can watch this from below with this microscope camera. After the acrylic glass probe is brought into contact, it is slowly pulled upwards, and the contact is being observed from below using a digital camera. Take this example of a triangular shape. In the beginning, the contact zone is identical with a triangle. However, when we slowly start to pull it upwards, 
There's a detachment front starting in the corners of the triangle and making its way inwards. After the remaining contact zone has achieved a circular shape, there is a very fast and sudden detachment of the remaining zone. In this snowman shape, you will see the contact zone remain stable for quite a long time. But then it's the left part, the smaller circle, which detaches completely before the detachment of the larger circle starts. Uh, so we did a lot of experiment and saw some effects, but if you really want to understand the mechanisms behind what you see, then you need to do simulation so you can do a lot of, a lot of surfaces one after the other. So to do this, we're going to talk to my colleague Li Chang, who's the expert on the simulations. Hi, Li Chang. Hello. I thought you could tell us something about the simulations that we're doing for the flat surfaces. Yeah, sure. Please sit down. In order for us to simulate the experiment, we have to teach the computer the basic mechanism of the problem. On the one hand, there is the adhesive bond connecting both bodies. On the other hand, there is elasticity. Both have a specific energy associated. When the bodies are put apart, each part of the surface will go from the stick state to the detachment when the elastic energy reaches the adhesive surface energy. After we build this general mechanism into a computer code, we could then fit different shapes into the simulation and see how this behaves. Now I will show you some examples right here. Back to the flat parts. In the simulations, we found the same general behavior as in the experiments. The detachment always starts in the outer part of the surface and travels inwards. In the end, the remain shape approaches a circle inside the original shape and then suddenly detaches as well. So what did you learn and what are the outcomes? Uh, I think to sum things up, we've looked at this problem of flat stems and adhesive contact. And we learned a lot about the role of the um, specific shape of these bodies when they are detached. And we found that for one particular spot to detach first, it is important to see how many surrounding points uh, this particular spot has. And we've not only looked at, at this project, at this problem with elastic bodies, but also with different materials and looked at different shapes. Uh, for instance, with little faults that are introduced and see how this influences uh, the detachment behavior. So if you're interested, please feel free to look at the paper, which is open access online, and you can find the link in the description. The results are published in the paper Strengths of Adhesive Contacts, Influence of Contact Geometry and Material Gradients, in the International Journal of Friction.